And for our ecosystems, we're talking about zebra mussels. These creatures are causing havoc in Smithville Lake. Ben Chandler explains how. These carp had new guests at Smithville Lake recently, and they weren't welcome. This is a major concern for us uh, because this affects everybody who uses the lake. These shells house that major concern, zebra mussels. Indigenous to Europe, they were introduced into U.S. waters some 30 years ago. And all they've done since is cause trouble for boating equipment. They'll attach to the docks, they'll attach to props, they'll attach to intakes. And for a lake's ecosystem. Really, they have very limited natural competitors for food or anything else. So from what we've seen, they just, they just explode. They're going to basically clean it up to the point the fish have, the young of the year fish have very little to feed on. The mussels were spotted over the 4th of July holiday. This is the first time they have been seen in Smithville Lake. But because of the reputation, those at the lake were on the lookout. Some of uh, the staff in the Department of Conservation have, have routinely been swimming the, the docks uh, on Smithville Lake to look for this very thing. The mussels were found in just one boat lift in this marina, giving hope that they have not spread throughout the lake. At this point, we're really not indicating this lake is infested with zebra mussels. We think we have everything under control. The Department of Conservation is looking for funding to treat this area, just to be sure. Ben Chandler, NBC Action News. The mussels are introduced to new lakes by equipment that has been brought from an infested body of water. The Department of Conservation stresses the importance of always checking your boating equipment for the mussels when transporting it between lakes.